Hey everyone, I'm Michael Posnick with Century 21. Welcome to my not-so-weekly weekly update on everything Prince Edward Island real estate. So it has been an exciting first week of October. The weather has been phenomenal. We've had an awesome September. Things are looking wonderful. And as usual, the buyers are exceeding our inventory. As much as people are actually feeling a sense of remorse or a fear of loss because they can't offer on properties that have sold fairly quickly. And they're overly ambitious to buy properties at any price in some cases, regardless of what the market data tells us. So new this week, we have a beautiful, feels like the Queen's Palace condo at 37 Autumn in North Rustico, that's unit 201, second floor. Beautiful spot, location, 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 on for 357. We've got 204 Bruce Point Road. This is a waterfront property. We're in the process of getting the pictures and the video back. Talk about beach, sandy beach everywhere, access to an island. It's got the warm waters from the Northumberland Strait. It's an awesome place. That's going to be on for $599.9. That's currently on MLS. Uh, 152 Heritage. One of the nicest well-built homes I've seen in decades. This is a must-see. It was sold. It fell apart. These things happen uh, probably more often than you think, but uh, it did fall apart. That's 152 Heritage River Road in Mermaid next to Stratford across the river from Charlottetown. Seven Cemetery. We had an offer and two counter offers and another verbal offer. That house is getting very close to being sold. So if you don't want to miss out, check it out. There's a new ground video. Seven Cemetery is in New Glasgow, that which is just north of Hunter River, not that far out of the city of Charlottetown. It's 170 Mount Edward Road. Uh, beautiful house. Excellent starter home. I'd buy this in a second if I was looking for my first or second or third home in the city. It's near UPEI, University of Prince Edward Island. It's on for only $335,000. Lots of showings, lots of positive comments. Still not sold. I'm confident that it will be soon. Up and coming, we've got uh, probably one of the nicest, if not the top three houses on Old Post Road in Crapo coming up. That is just uh, off highway number one on your way to Victoria by the Sea. Great location. That's going on for 600,000. It's got a beautiful, huge, maturely treed lot. It's got a shed that looks like a little cottage, double car attached garage. It looks like a Cape Cod from the road, but it's really a story and a half uh, with an unfinished basement. So I think it's, uh, I'm not even going to guess at the square footage right now because we haven't done the calculation, but it'd be around 25 plus the basement. So this is tons of space. Uh, what else? Split entry coming up in Sherwood East Royalty for 430. This is a mint condition home, double car, car detached garage. The house has been renovated continuously. It presents itself like new. So that's it for new and coming. We're getting more and more people buying land. And uh, we just had an offer, a uh, conditional offer in lot 3709 in Sunbury Cove Estates. If you haven't checked that out, phase two is being developed. There's been one, two, three, four sales of lots in that subdivision in the last 90 days. Probably more than that, but that's what I can remember. Uh, real estate tips. Do not pretend to be a lawyer. Everyone, I shouldn't say everyone, many people will go to the internet, they'll put together a legal document and find out that when they go to enforce it, it is not enforceable because they didn't involve the local laws, provincial, state, federal, common law. I'm not a lawyer. I don't pretend to be a lawyer and you shouldn't either. So make sure if you're writing documents that could potentially cost you tens of thousands of dollars, if they're wrong, you get a lawyer to write it up and do not take it upon yourself to pretend you're one. Uh, that's my advice today. Uh, other things happening this week. We're having a lot of problems uh, with people not reviewing an entire offer, particularly paragraph three. So I did a video on this. I'll put the link below, but basically paragraph three says what's included with the purchase and sale price. It's sort of a, uh, it's an easy paragraph to trip over because everyone's focused on the closing date price and that's about it. And then they miss all the other conditions. But pay close attention to paragraph three and check out the video. Also out is the September Korea Prince Edward Island real estate sales stats. 
pages and pages and pages of charts and numbers and bar graphs and spreadsheets. If you're into numbers and you want to know what the real story is and not base your opinion on conjecture or speculation or rumors, check out the September Crea stats. I'll make a link below in the description. And property testing. A lot of stuff coming across my screen and I'm shaking my head thinking like, where does this come from? Because at the end of the day, I'm looking at the sales data and the sales data is not reconciling with the asking prices. And then I'm getting, you know, argumentative buyers, sellers, and agents that are saying, oh no, no, this property is worth that. And I'm looking at the data and I'm thinking, well, not according to the market. However, since it's a strong seller's market, a lot of people are testing the market. They're putting properties on for prices that don't correlate or reconcile with actual sales data. So be careful when you're buying. Uh, an appraisal or reverse CMA is always a good idea. A CMA is a comprehensive market analysis, which is similar to an appraisal that the agents do. This can be simply one sheet or you can have this fancy 60 page version with all the charts and pictures and stuff. Uh, fear of loss, we sort of tipped on. There are a number of people writing offers are just afraid to lose out on property because we have very low inventory levels and we have a ton of buyers, particularly from Southern Ontario. Uh, on to the YouTube channel. I originally did a million, or not a million, hundreds of candid uh, YouTube tours, whether it was land or house or commercial buildings. Stop doing that like a lot of the agents because it's just so much easier just to call somebody and have a fancy artistic video done. So I'm going back to doing those candid videos when I can. Uh, it's been hard trying to find an editor, so I'm doing the editing myself. Uh, what else? High-end properties. They are selling like never before. In the history of PEI, there's been very few, maybe two to three dozen million dollar plus properties that are sold in the residential market. Now, we just can't seem to find the inventory in that. There's a lot of buyers looking for nice luxury homes in PEI, regardless of the price, providing it's, you know, around that million, million plus. So if you do have something that you tried to sell before, you know, someone's trying to sell something higher end, it probably wouldn't have sold before, but there may be potential if it's marketed properly to sell today. In closing, uh, if you have any questions about PEI real estate or PEI in general, put them in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for MLS listings or, or listings before they appear in MLS and PEI real estate tips, tricks, and traps. And anything you want to know, put below. Give the video a thumbs up. Have a great day and thanks for watching.